Hey, Don Copham here, back on the Compress IUV600S, my, my favorite machine here. Today, we're doing a, another one of our cold SE things. We like to do practical things, but also show the printers off a little bit. What I've got loaded here onto the machine, this is some clear quarter inch acrylic we bought from a local sign supply store. Did some rough numbers on it before we came in here. It's about $10 for each of these sheets. I actually have two sheets of a clear acrylic set here. These are actually going to be mounted in. If you've ever watched any of our podcasts or our, our live webinars or had a live demo, we have a media room that has kind of like a sound stage where we do a lot of those at. And we have some signs up and they were just kind of getting old and whatnot. We decided let's, let's use a cool new machine to do this. And so what we're doing is we're actually going to front print these, right? Because they're going to be front lighted. Uh, and we don't want to, if we back print them, we're going to have the glare from the front and you wouldn't be able to see them as well. So we're going to front print these, white underbase underneath the logos, and then we're going to print the color on top of them so they'll be forward facing right printing. And uh, we're going to show off a little bit of how we can print on the acrylic. Cool thing is, is if you've done any research on the machines, you know that this has got a 24 inch by 18 inch bed roughly, all right, which is our print area. However, we uh, actually cut these at 27 inches for the mater material showing that we can actually go past the edge of the bed. If you can see my finger underneath here, we've got about that much space, right, on each side of it, about an inch and a half on each side of the bed. We're not going to print on those, but we do have a deep enough, wide enough throat here that we can actually go in with that material. If you look at it, you actually probably have another half inch or so we can go outside of that even. You probably go up to a 28 inch piece of material on it, load it in, print it. So you can print a larger area and you also have a larger piece of media you can load into it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and load this into the machine. I'm going to come over and show you what we did in the software to print this off. All right, so here we have it. We've got the, the designs. We've loaded both of our designs in here. You can see they're both PDF designs. You can see right here, this is loaded into the Compress uh, RIP, the most current version of it that we're shipping right now. And we brought these in and we've positioned them to line up to the front of the bed. And... Uh, to make our marketing department happy so that when they come out, they're facing the right direction. For those of you who are printers, you would realize that the zero zero is usually on this side of the bed. So it would print actually what would look upside down, but we've turned it around. The cool thing is the printer doesn't care. And this just looks better for video. So what we've done is we've loaded into the designs and we've already actually pre-ripped them. As you can see right here, $1.26 is my cost. That's my cost of ink for both of these signs. Let's just split it in half, say there's 63 cents for each one of these signs for the ink and $10 for the media. So we have less than $11 into each one of these signs. By the time you put standoffs, you might add another couple, three bucks if you're gonna mount them. Every day, all day long, $50 for these signs for somebody. Great opportunity to very easily quadruple your money. And I like to accentuate, when you're looking at these and doing these for signage, how else would you do these? There's a couple ways you could do them. First thing I want to do though, is I want to get these printed and we'll talk a little bit more about that. I'm going to go ahead and hit print right now. I'm going to send the job over to the printer and then we'll talk a bit about the other methods that folks would use to print these. Talking about how else you would do these type of signs. There's really only two standard ways you would do these for full color. Uh, for short run type signages. Obviously, if you're doing a large run, you might screen print them or other types of printing methods. But to do these now for short run, two main ways you would see them done would be done with an eco solvent printer onto a, a vinyl. You could either print onto a clear vinyl with a white underbase, similar to what we do here, and apply that down. Or you could print onto a white vinyl, then have a print and cut situation where it actually cuts it out, you weed it out, then you have to let it gas out. Anytime you print with an eco-solvent printer, you, you have to let the inks gas out, basically dry fully. And then you can apply a mask to apply them to the surface of the, the clear plex. The other way to do it, and this would be the crazy way, is you could actually cut this out of individual pieces of vinyl that are solid colored vinyl, weed them, and apply them at once. Which, uh, if you're a sign guy, you know that's no bueno. That's a lot of work. So those are the two main met methods you would do it. And the crazy thing is, as we determined, 63 cents worth of ink on each of these. If you were to print these with an eco-solvent printer, you would have at least that much in the ink. You would have the cost of the vinyl. You would have the time that you had to let them gas out. Then you would have the mounting time as well that you would have to weigh in. And realistically, if you wanted to look as good as this, you would have to print on a white vinyl, print and cut it, then weed it, and, then, and look at the size inside of the letter P and the letter R there. That'd be a pain to weed, 
right? You'd have to weed all that out and then apply it. If not, you'd have to apply a clear vinyl. And man, that's really tough to get that smooth and not have bubbles and see those bubbles on the, the plastic. If I was in a sign shop, I'd hit print, let this puppy go, and I'd be off doing my next thing. Alrighty, so we've just uh, drawn back in, and then we're starting to print the color layer on top. And uh, man, it looks good. You can't see it from up there, but I get to see it from down here, over here, and it looks really good. It's kind of exciting. Actually, we were talking about it off camera. Just the white layer looks really cool on this acrylic. And, and there are so many other things you can do with acrylic. You know, like I said, this situation, because we're front lighting it, we wanted to put it on it so it's front facing. However, if I were to put this in a backlight situation, let's say it was in a can, you know, a box with lights in the back of it, I would do a back lit situation. I would actually print the design in reverse on the back of the media and then I would print a white backing or I could put a translucent white vinyl behind it too if I wanted to be be a little bit quicker and a little bit less expensive as well. But that's one just a multiple way. You can play games. You could actually do multi layers. I've, I've done some designs where we actually would print some information on the front top of the design of the acrylic and then you have a back print as well so it would give us some dimensionality like you know if you were doing some ads for uh for somebody and you wanted to look like there was a human being in the front somebody in the back you could actually back print with a white backer and then print on the front as well and i, I want to say that we're probably right about in the area right now of about seven or eight minutes on doing this realistically you could take this turn it around and do this conservatively six times in an hour which would be 12 signs. And uh, at 50 bucks a shot, you know, do the math on that. That's $600 billable an hour out of the machine. Just about done, coming to the top part of the uh, Compress logo. I don't know if we're gonna do videos on all these, but we've got a, another handful of these we've gotta do. Done it. We already did a large one, if you've maybe seen a video a little bit earlier on. We'll have some videos up on the Facebook page, up on the Compress page as well. Just about finished. Here we go, all done. Now remember what we said, $10 for each piece of material, 63 cents worth of ink on each one of them. But here you go, this is the finished product. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drill some holes. We have some standoffs. We're gonna have this up on the walls in our media room, and uh, it just looks awesome. It's a great, great way, as I said before, great just addition to your business, how you can make money using a Compress IUV 600S or the 1200S doing acrylic signs for your customers for indoor and outdoor display.